example, in 2000, world population was approximately 6 billion. The data are from United Nations Family Planning Program and are based on optimistic or pessimistic expectations for successful control of human population growth. Find the percent increase in the world population from 2000 to 2150 using high projection data. So using this high projection data, this is for the medium projection and then for low projection. They all start with around 6 billion at the beginning in 2000. What we want to do is find the percent increase for letter A and for letter B, we want to find the percent decrease using the low projection data. To get the percent increase, all you need to do is get the change in the amount. So for letter A, from 6 billion by 2150, the projected population will be 30 billion. The change will be 30 minus 6. 30 minus 6 is 24. And then divide it by 6. So 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 and then times 100 and then put the percent sign so you have 400 percent so now to get the percent decrease we would refer to the data on the green that is the low projection graph and then you follow the same formula you get the amount of decrease and then divide it by the original amount to get the amount of decrease, you have to start with the original amount, the original population, which is 6, and the projected population by 2150 is 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2, divided by the original population, which is 6. 2 over 6 is 1 third, which is equal to 33 and 1 third percent. The projected percent decrease in world population by 2150 is 33 and one third percent. Now this is an example here of an instance wherein percent could get easily abused. So for instance in this uh, example here, John Tesh while he was still anchoring Entertainment Tonight, reported that PBS series, The Civil War, had an audience of 13% versus the usual 4% PBS audience. An increase of more than 300% did Tesh report the percent increase correctly? Now to examine, let's look at the data here. Now to compute for the percent increase, follow this formula, which is the amount of increase divided by the original amount. Now we're referring to the percentages here, 13% minus 4%. So 13 minus 4 is 9 divided by the usual, which is just 4%. So you have 9 over 4 which is equal to 2.25. Now, if you multiply that by 100, you get 225%. So is the increase from 4 to 13% really 300%? No, it's just 225%. So therefore, this is not more than 300%. So Tesh did not report the percent increase correctly.